Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at our map veto here. See where we get to play. Now, for last play days, you saw we got Bank, Oregon that are banned out. Those are the two great maps. And Red Doubles being mm. on the blue side, they're going to start Consulate. on the attack, and they're going to play on Consulate now. That, that makes sense for Red Devils, considering that was the one match that they won was last time when they played on Consulate mm -hmm. against INTZ. Yeah, I mean, last match that Red Devils played, that was on BR6 as well. That was last Sunday, which is just, you know, at the same time as INTZ of Hurdles. And they played against Team Liquid. They lost 7-5, 7-4. And that's even in the case where Silence had to replace Gohan for the match. So the coach, the X player stepping in for the team. That, that, that works for quite a few teams, though. Like, you, you see EG just bringing in Gacha. Honestly, like I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the day, Team Liquid are like, oh, yeah, we have Gacha playing here. Because Gacha's just going to snipe all those positions. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm just going to play with everyone. And at some point, I think Geo is not really sick. Somebody's just going to come in and, like, hit him on the top of the head. Like, today is Gacha's day. That's right. And it's going to be Gacha doing it. He's going to knock, knock him out and hit, gotcha. <laughs> I can see him doing that. That would be yeah. hilarious. All right, take a look what you guys think, though, and I think I know where this is going. Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't go all the way down to 9%, but, hey, there's a lot of uh, percentage to NIP because, like you said, they've been showing up now. they got Pino. Pino. A lot of numbers. Yeah. 4% draw, though, very low considering uh, you know the amount of draws that you mentioned have been happening in Latin America. Yeah. Only three so far. They again last season they had twelve within the you know fourteen play days, yeah. which is still pretty good. But they have days where I think it's most most regions as well where it's like there are just days where there's a ton of ties and it just happens that everybody is not really yeah in that perfect mode. But for North America, for example, Space Station are just they're in that perfect mode consistently. Or the the or non-perfect mode. Consistently I mean. tying with yeah. everyone. They're, they're as good as every team out there, just not better than any of them, apparently. We'll, we'll see, see, though. They're going to be at Six Invitational very soon. That's true. That's true. Assuming as well, NIP. Yeah. So that should Assuming. be interesting as well. Hopefully, you know, we won't have a situation like uh, last time. Where a lot of, I think it was Paris where so many Latin American teams went out in groups. Yeah, only NIP survived and actually went into the quarterfinals and then very quickly lost. So, yeah. We'll see. It'll definitely be the case where they should be a bit better prepared for it this time, and this match is going to be potentially an indicator as well. As I said, though, a lot of teams don't always want to use the same stuff they're going to be using uh, for that. But at the same time, as you mentioned earlier, Latin American uh, teams tend to play different kinds of strats anyways when they're at the LAN events against mm -hmm. other regions, so oh, yeah. not as big a concern, I don't think. Completely different. Just If it's Latin America, just throw it out the window because... All the research you're doing means absolutely nothing. <laughs> we both know that as people that have spent way too much time going through the repertoire of uh, Brazil yet to find that our information is fairly erroneous. Well, Habana ban, an interesting one to start out with on a map that doesn't completely need it, but uh, at the same time, that might force them to have to bring Thermite. You're always talking about how, you know, when they bring Thermite, oh, it would have been better if they brought Habana, obviously. Cannot I cannot do that now. I can understand NIP going for that ban first as they might be looking to solidify their position on the defensive side first mm -hmm. before switching around to the attack. And unsurprisingly, Red Devils yeah. will remove the Monty. As you've seen NIP, you mentioned it before, you know, between Julio and Wog. Uh, there's a lot to be afraid of, but NIP still have the potential to play the Blitz and the Clash even on the defense if she's not banned. I'd say Mira ban here would be a bit of a waste, but I'm very hopeful for an Echo, Maestro, or a Valkyrie ban. Last time uh, Red Devils played on this, they did ban Echo, but apparently this time that's not the concern. They also had banned IQ last time as well, so they obviously want to keep uh, the Valkyrie in play, but this is an interesting choice. Like you said, it's not hugely impactful all the time on this yeah. map, but in this case... Valkyrie ban at the end for NIP? Honestly, Julia's a very good Mira, though, so it doesn't yes. surprise me, I guess, to ban uh -huh. that out. NIP leave the Valkyrie in play. Yeah, that's going to be so. who potential jump out city here. Basically, NIP are like, hey, let's ban the Habana and we'll ban the Echo. They're not going to be huge for us. Now let's just leave the Valkyrie in. Let's collect as many of these defensive round as possible. Yeah, garage it's defense round. especially is going to be interesting. Yeah, very true. Uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll see some, uh, um, you know, an extra bulletproof camera come out here and there. But for now, with the Maestro in play, uh, that definitely really helps out when it comes to being able to basically spot everybody through smoke, which is great. And the IQ is going to be in play. No, it's going to be a sixth pick, which is surprising because, okay, I know I know what Vitz is doing, but you are expecting a Valkyrie. Might as well bring the IQ. It's console. It's like 
There's a map Attack built for ba Valkyrie to play on. This is the one. This may be what, Favela, I guess? Yeah, yeah, very true. Same for Cap. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll see how it goes in terms of uh, whether or not they're going to be sitting up with all those cameras outside or just a lot inside to really control the map along with the Evil Eyes. Because you do often want to be able to run around the map itself very freely, not always jump out. So they can play it differently because yeah, they are playing the top bomb site, which means there will be a little bit of rotating around the top, but also be a lot more rotating around the middle floors as well. They don't have an echo to be able to use uh, to help on the site outside yeah, of the Evil Eyes. So. This castle will be potentially sticking inside Admin here to just try and defend that for as long as possible if he doesn't rotate out. Because that was his last castle barricade. Yep. So, still bringing the bulletproof camera. And that's the thing I always want to try to highlight. They set up the Evil Eye here on the reinforced wall as if it is a mirror window. Discount mirror, basically. Actually, even better. It's a better mirror window, in my opinion. Well, it can taste people. Instead of getting tased. And it sees through smoke. It's pretty huge. Yep. Pretty big deal. Even we'll though smoke it. won't really be a problem in this situation, but you know, not, no Capitao in play. Yeah, it's not really seen a ton up here. It's definitely a good map for him, especially for the angle that Midi's holding right now. We're trying to deal with people on those stairs, but no one actually playing yellow stairs for top floor defense. It's uh, interesting. We will at least have some grenades here from both Buck and Finca, though. To be able to throw in a wag, already almost dead playing this. Aggressive smoke in here. I mean, this is pretty typical to see a smoke play in there. Good good on him to bail out, although that grenade did get caught by the ADS. He Ooh. still needs to go for a reset. He is How running is, for his life. How is he still alive? Wag just stirring away with barely any health left. There you go. A shot through the wall will allow them to pick him back up. And Psycho has dropped down and is playing down the stairs, in the yellow stairs, to maybe trying to take control. And oh, the timing, though. Unfortunate. Uh, unfortunately there, Red Devils will find the first kill. Psycho will be the first one to go down. And as you mentioned, Wog's been reset, so now at 50 health, Julia will jump out, and he can't find the angle. It's gonna be detected for just a second and fall back in. Wog, though, in the meantime, will take down Vit. So there she goes. No yeah. more Fink. He was able to go right back onto the stairs and continue with his work. Das Vidanya, Fink. <laughs> means good luck. Ooh, nice uh, ability to spot through that hole as well. So, they have good eyes on the site. That's why you bring Maestro. Yep. Such a good op. He is the uh, Maestro for sure. <laughs> well done. Well done. Okay, well, I wonder how oh. many smokes were left. Well, it doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter. Evolva took quite a bit of damage in that gunfight, but of course not enough to go for a reset. Kamikaze in the meantime. I'm taking control on a bro. We'll get taken out. That's the fuser now spotted on the floor. In the meantime, VNX. Setting up and watching for a long angle here from the balcony. Pino, in the meantime, checking the Valkyrie cameras that are outside, giving information to the players of NIP. They know there's one player here moving in by the spiral staircase. It's Kamikaze. will secure the payload, a.k.a. the diffuser. And Julio, yep. service stairs. Uh, it's always much nicer when you have a shotgun there, but that certainly will do the job. No impacts, no nothing there being used by the Zofia. Pino will fall back. Julio will get the kill on Velvet, and they spray to the back. Kamikaze will land the last one. Well played here by Kamikaze with 3k minimum by the Jaeger. NIP will take the very first round with three players left alive on the board. Well done in console on the Maestro, allowing them to gauge the situation, get in a lot of information. And the fact that the smoke was able to survive early on definitely put uh, a bit of a wedge in the plans of Red Devils. Yeah, the fact that he was able to get away with that one or two HP and get that reset, Definitely made a big difference. I mean, yeah, he uh, wasn't able to be as impactful for as long as he was trying to be, but definitely made a huge difference. And of course, his place being taken up by the Jaeger, who managed to use the hole in the bathroom, which is such a common hole because it A is what saved Wog's life, and B is what uh, allowed the comeback there, as well as forcing the defuse down there. That was the big deal. For, for those of you who are not familiar with it as well, Something I, I think we don't really ever mention, but the diffuse indicator that we see that indicates the diffuse was dropped right there, the defenders do not see that. They have to actually see the diffuser being there to know that it's there. They don't get... Uh, I mean, I, I believe they might get an indication that the diffuser has been lost, but not necessarily that's where it's at. So just thought I mention that because I don't know if we've ever actually called attention to the fact that that is an overlay that we see that the defenders do not. So it's a good point to highlight. It's at least, it's, yeah, we never really talk about it. But yeah, for people that don't know, it is definitely part of the 
whole situation. Which is why it's important to call out to your teammates when you have the diffuser down and uh, have it secured so that you know everyone else has to rotate to it. Yes. It makes a lot of difference to how the de defenders play from that point forward. Oh, two drones being lost in here. Nice deal. Yeah. Attackers are moving to what, a, the bomb. what a great trader. Mm -hmm. Deal maker. Psycho will drop down and just play the service there. So makes a lot of sense here. It allows you to deal with any players that want to enter early and uh, no, two for one for the rush. That's two players taken down by Psycho. Midi has found one, but instantly taken down by Velvet in the back. You know, in the meantime, having the hatch open allows him to get the, well, a lot of damage actually. That rush with the uh, Finca almost working actually leaves Red Devils in a positive position. Velvet again able to ADS super fast using the Finca boost to his advantage. Diffuser will get set in the back. C4 thrown in by the Bandit. It's not enough, unfortunately. Attackers no damage done the to Velvet. The rush works out wonderfully here. Grenade from the Finca as well. Both of them in the face of Julio. Got to be very careful of the whereabouts of his opponents, and he has no info to play off of. This is where you'd love to have a Maestro in the back, and unfortunately that's not the case. One player in the back, the Ash on the floor, and they spray in. The Velvet will finally get shot down, but how is he allowed to run away? VNX is going to try to maneuver in. Oh no, actually he goes back. So now the Bandit will have some idea. Oh, oh. come on, guys. Long there we go. Oh, Julio, he gets one. Where's Fitz? Fitz, I swear to God. There you go. He was playing the long con. And it worked. I'm a sneaky snake. Well, he just didn't want to engage. He wanted the uh, the Sophie to come around, take the fight, and that way Bandit just assumed that uh, it was somewhere else. So you don't expect someone to just be laying right there, making no noise, not responding or reacting at all. That's I could imagine they were planning to do that rush the previous round, bringing the Fink in, and just, oh, they're going uh, top floor. Okay, never mind. But it uh, definitely worked. It was, a, it was a little bit sloppy. That that pick from behind by Psycho was that nice two-piece where they lined up as well. But, well, Biscuit, uh, unfortunately, he was looking down, but Velvet was way too fast to come yeah. in behind him and take him out. It was a good play overall, just because they didn't go entirely through just the hatch. They also went for the stairs as well. So it was a, it was a smart flank to have that backup just in case helped save that attack and it was a nice attempt by the bandit but totally julio could do at that point just to try and fight that it was impressive he was at least able to get two of them yeah of course he had no information on where the whereabouts of the third player but you know this basically you can't really blame him in that situation yeah. it happened and now there won't be a change they're going to play the same site and red devils what do they do completely switch around their lineup and in this case to bring the dokabi allows him to deal with any roam play and possibly clear the you know top to down yeah a lot of sense i mean we'll see if they go for that but uh, you definitely do still want to do a top down clear even though it is garage to deal with in the end but you also want to make sure you get that garage open at some point yeah. so it is important to Abro stay alive as long as possible to get that open first because they're not bringing a thatcher or anything that's going to make it quick and there is a bandit and a mute, so a good chance that uh, Garage, you're gonna have to do a little bit of work to open first. Right. We'll see how Red Devil set up for this one here. Is, uh, again, the Dokavi is great at shutting down any uh, roam play. Just put it around the map. Oh, by kicks. By ki kicks, 8.0. He's been upgraded and now downgraded. Shut down. It's good to see that bandwave, like you mentioned earlier. It's, uh, it's, it's been going ham today. It's a lot of fun. Camera I guess activated. Epi has a lot of fun at the office doing all these things. This is how he celebrates. All right, guys, today I'm uh, cracking open a bottle of whiskey and <laughs> I'm going to have some fun. <laughs> ban, 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 ban. Just has a giant list to go through. All right. He cracks his knuckles. <laughs> that's, pro that's probably a very real thing. But Kamikaze opening things up here from below to try and contest anybody in piano. Spino just uh, hovering, switching between all the cameras, not going to find anyone on them just yet. Has a bulletproof camera. There's already been deployed. I believe it was set down stairs in the garage. No Maestro in play in this round either. Very surprising from the ninjas. Well, that's going to have to take its place, really, is that bulletproof camera is the one other thing that can see through smoke because smoke plants are, of course, going to be a thing on the site, which is what Vitz is going to be bringing in along with the phone calls that you see them trying to disable at the moment. All right, Pino extended barrel on the UMP. One well, of the greatest of attachments. So he's fun. Now, Midi here is set up for a grenade, take down the castle barricade, and send himself through to the bathroom. He's unsure of where his opponents are. You see there's castle in the back by the 
piano, reinforced walls. He hears the player moving inside of the bathroom. There's two of them there. And they'll open up the hatch and drop on down as the Red Devils cannot gain any information on the location of the NFP players. Maybe with a pre-fire into the softball here, piano bomb. won't find anyone. Two players will drop down. Bit of damage done. And they even see a player rotating away as Zofia will do some damage. C4 will miss. Midi and the rest of the squad are really unsure of how NIP are maneuvering around as both of those Dokubi calls have already been used and the hatch already been opened in the bathroom will allow for potential fights through that hatch or potential drops later on for the attackers. Just an extra way in. The thermite clears out the garage door, even sets up for the second. Definitely doing a good job delaying the 30 seconds left, and now they've just got the garage open. C4 is still oh, available as well as it kill now on the Velvet. And a lot of damage done here to Pino, but it leaves only one player to hold the back flank. And Pino will get shot down by a brow, actually. Okay, well done. And he tries to go for the engagement. No drones, no information. Little time left, and Adokibi wins it out. Fitz will find the headshot. The dropping in, and that's what I was talking about before. Midi will get one. And there's still Psycho above. Can he stop the diffuser from being planted? So much fire being thrown into him, but no, the plant will yet again go further away from where the defenders were planning it to go. And Psycho will have to retake, but he's going to get spotted and at least heard through these holes. This sound will propagate much easier. All of this and see the murder holes already being set by the attack as Psycho, wow, shot Vitz will go down. Try to drop in, but the Zofia is ready. VNX takes him out, and Red Devils finally attacking round. Very well done. I mean, I liked the defense strategy of let's play a lot of people up here in bathroom and just be ready to drop and delay for as long as possible. And they delayed a good two minutes before giving up that bathroom. But losing the fight against the Dokubi once the smoke started to go down for the plant, that's really what cost them right there. Because winning the first fight, I mean, Julia did a great job winning that. They didn't expect him right there. They pushed it a little too aggressively to go for a plant. Completely caught off guard, but then the lack of a follow-up is what ultimately cost him. I mean, Psycho playing upstairs wasn't a bad idea. It's just his teammates started falling down. That buck drop that was definitely well-timed. Just uh, there wasn't a whole lot to counter it. Midi actually going to switch off of that buck and go for the Finca instead. So they're going to have the Finca and the Dokubi this time. As they go to attack Console yet again, the one site that Nip have been able to win so far. Attackers need to locate and defuse now that they've played uh, Garage they twice, they can. Why not? It does strike me as odd, though, they don't want to just consider Lobby as a play. If they feel confident in the top floor, then Lobby is a little easier to handle because you're already good at defending the top floor, so yeah, it's a little more split. We haven't really seen archives being uh, a normal thing. It, it, it will continue to, I think, rotate in slowly as teams figure out more strategies for it. It's new. It's always interesting to have a new bomb site. That's the first new bomb site that I can recall ever being added to an old map in this game. Is very true. I think it does 30. exist in, um, it, well, it existed as a site in Five seconds to go. secure area. That makes sense. But, you know, now well, there's, there's secure area sites here. that have nothing Attackers to do with the bomb sites. Oh, yeah. One uh, one recent memory is, uh, is accidentally queued one in a secure area in tower, and there was a room I hadn't even seen before. <laughs> because there's so many rooms you don't ever that, use, it was yeah. one of the secure area rooms. That like, is what? Not, actually, I know which one you're talking about. It's a, it's a weird, it's just a room you don't usually see because there's so many. It's but the it was one just, that's right on the outside. Yeah, of the, the outside edge with yeah, windows everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so <laughs> glad we don't have yeah. a pop tower. But that's what I mean. Just sometimes it doesn't always match up or line up with the or secure Or makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. That aside, uh, Valkyrie here scanning around. is It's fairly difficult still to find those Valkyrie cameras when you don't bring an IQ, which is why I'm kind of surprised that Red Devils are not bringing that. But you know what they're, they have on the board? The Blackbeard. It combos fairly well with the Finca alongside the Ash and the Dokubis. Yeah, Close you, range oh. fights? Oh, you're going to have a Ooh. hard time. And there you go. Kill number one and two, but quickly traded away as the Maestro will find the kill on the Finca. But at what cost does so there's only one take, well, two taken away, the Smoke and the Jaeger. Yeah, I mean, the the Finca was definitely not the most important part of the strategy. That's not bad. I mean, you do lose some days, potentially. Then Psycho, take it down the Diffuser, is, that's going to be a big problem. Diffuser trapped on yellow stairs is always problematic. And that's your only Heart Breach now finally taken away. Yeah. It's, it's definitely not the most important operator on this attack, but still, the extra manpower that you need to, to take control of the yellow stairs, if you are really going to go for that. Definitely required. It leaves you with a lot less long-range firepower. Velvet will be able to pick Attackers up the diffuser, the bomb diffuser. But Julio is still sitting pretty and doesn't really have to worry about too much as 
Oh, the rest of his teammates, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, talk about the maestro, but nope. I guess Volvo's just gonna finish him off, and there you go. Oh. There's one, there's two. Nicely done. And leaves only Julio alive. Suddenly, the call is coming in from the Dokubi. Fires into the back, and the ash is reduced to fairly little health. It sprays through the smoke again. Much damage done to the Dokubi as well. Second. Smoke canister used up. C4 into the back. Will not. Go. Oh, it does! No! Velvet will go down! And that's the Ash eliminated, but he has no clue here as the smoke is still blocking. Line of sight for both operators. Still more damage done to Dokubi. The soft wall can be used. It's, you, know, you can rotate in and out of it and move into the yellow stairs, and that's exactly what the Dokubi will try to do. A diffuser has been set, and this allows VNX to now play the window if he wants to. Definitely a strong position that Julia will have a hard time to deal with. No information on the Dokubi. She peeks around the SMG 12. They'll have to walk in the line of fire of VNX. So actually, remain behind the deck in the, in the console chamber. There was a Maestro camera there, but it yeah. was... Well, he didn't want to risk swinging out because in the situation he could get potentially killed by a run out, assuming they were able to get the kill on the Dokubi and just vault down the yellow yeah. stairs. Could but go for it, but that's a pretty predictable run out. You have the info on on the Blackbeard in the back with that Maestro camera. I wonder... Yeah. Hmm. All right. I gotta say, though, for a map where we saw Ents demonstrating very well aggressive defense and flexibility, we're not seeing that so much from Ninjas of Pajamas here. This is... You know, we were talking at the beginning of the play day about these aggressive defenses and all that. We're not seeing a ton of those. We're seeing more conservative defenses coming out from Latin America than I would have expected. And the attacks from Red Devils actually are more aggressive, which is why they're winning. So con contrasting to the border match, right, where we saw these kind of stalled out attacks, these very slow attacks where a lot of times the entry fragger would die kind of early and it would just slow them down. Whereas Red Devils, even if they lose the Fika, they're like, that's fine, let's keep pushing, let's keep pushing. And yep. they're, they're getting ground very quickly because they're pushing aggressively against Ninja's Pajamas who seem to be kind of on the back foot to an extent. Yeah, they're playing the ability to kind of move around the map a little bit, but much, much slower, despite yeah. all the cameras they have. They have a lot of intel to be able to work with. Bulletproof cameras coming out, like you see right there. The the Black Eyes and the Evil Eyes, they have a ton of intel, yet they're still moving around super cautiously. And the Castle Barricades also can work very well with Roamers because it's a flank you don't have to watch when you're moving around the map as well. So it's just, it is a... Uh, baffling that Ninjas of Pajamas are allowing so much of this aggression to come out from Red Devils unchecked. I mean, how, what is it now? Three rounds that have come down to 1v3s, 1v4s? Yeah, and the, and the Fika part of it is, I mean, it's not a huge contributor, but it's, it's kind of relevant, helping. really. It, it only it, helps in one round. It's more the extra grenades, I think, that they were getting from doing that, because they would often bring the buck as well. But they have that this round, and then again, they have the Zofia for those kind of grenades, along with the, the phone calls, which... I wouldn't say they're like completely game changing or anything, but they're certainly slowing down. That oh, the run out! Here we go! Finally. Julio finds one! Can he get the second? No, he's gonna use the C4 to rotate away. Old school plays here as he pre fires into the yellow stairs, but. Well, that's not Garage though. Again, they're killing the Thermite early on, on the bomb site where it matters the least, unfortunately, for sweet, them. Sweet parkour. Yeah. Julio. Still has a black eye actually in the back box. Just making sure he gets his exercise in. Yeah, the, that black eye not being deployed seems like a risky thing when that was a very suicide play kind of move. Definitely could have cost your team additional intel. They could have. He really needs to set it up somewhere if he's going to try and risk an engagement. Just checks more of his utility as the Dokubi hack will come in. The call from Vix. A logic bong will. Oh no. Wow. He'll reveal baited. Julio, but he still wins it out. Okay, now you lose the buck, and suddenly this trade is pretty darn good with Julio still alive. Yeah, now he has a camera to actually help him out or ask for a teammate playing on site to be able to watch for him. You know what this reminds me of? Nesk, back in mm. year two. Yeah, I could definitely see that. And the thing oh, is, fine. NIP only banned the Echo, so it's only a Mira Echo ban, which doesn't really affect the attackers that much. But a Monty plus Habana ban is pretty darn big. And if you're only Ooh. able to... Oh, no, finally Fitz will take Oh, and he can hack the phone. So all those cameras now from the... Uh, even the bulletproof camera along with the evil eye and the black eye. So that's, uh, that's a big, big win there in terms of a lot of those being on site. Yeah, Psycho will get one in Fitz in the meantime, at least trying to thin out the ranks of the attackers and working very well for him here. NIP are looking for a minimum of three rounds on the board. If not, then... Uh, you know, suddenly those defender bands are, or the, the attacker bands are going to be a bit more complicated for them to deal with as you know, 
Phoenix trying to see Crouch here to get the kill, but it's Seiko to finish off Velvet, leaving only Zofia alive, enough for long. As she'll try to pull herself back up. That's a very Polish superpower, by the way. It's a real thing. You know, you're at one health, pick yourself back up. I've yet to witness that. I've. But I uh, also I'm not going out on uh, drinking on Friday exactly. nights or something. So going out to Polish bars, you realize that that ability is like a completely real thing, but for the wrong context. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see. One final attempt at Garage here. So far, they have yet to win it. They have only won on console two out of three times. So maybe they'll make it work this time. Will we see a sixth pick into a Finca and go for a rush again? Bits is considering it. Nope, they're going to make sure that those cameras are less of a problem. They're finally going to bring that IQ. Which is, uh, it's unfortunate because they were able to get the hacks with the cameras last time, and they're definitely bringing the consistent three operators with the cams. So, I mean, that's a lot of intel. Yeah, they didn't win that fight last time because they lost too many people, but at least those three dead players were able to watch multiple cameras at the same time and provide some additional intel on the site players. There just happened to be too many of them for him to win the fight against, and the death on Spiral definitely didn't help with that as well. Now, this is a this is a bomb site, of course, where Abro needs to stay alive longer so we can get that uh, garage open. It has taken them quite a while to open, though, despite uh, the fact they haven't been uh, overly contested in doing so. But no bandit this time, just the mute. So it should be a little bit easier to deal with. I kind of want to see where Pino will set up his bulletproof camera, I'll be honest. Yeah, it's always fun. Unfortunately, they can't hear us to uh, show yeah, that. But possibly by the location where the mirror window will be uh, normally. Um, or no, okay. No, this is, yeah, this is a pretty common spot for it. Ooh. Okay. Good start. This is fine. This is completely fine. As everything is on fire next to me. <laughs> That's a big shot there. VNX going down. No more Sofia to worry about. Schmutz and more utility to burn up. Well, there's no ADSs here, but utility that you would like to use to take down any castle barricade suddenly no longer available. And you have to use grenades from the buck. Not sure if the IQ is bringing any breaching charges. That would definitely be a big boon, a big help for the Red Devils, but... Yep. Damn. Psycho is such a beast. This is definitely something they need, they need to shut down at some point. One would say he is psychotic. Mm-hmm. It's just setting up in Teller solo. No information even. I wonder where his black eyes are being set. If only we had a button where we could see all the utility that was deployed around the map. Yep. Give us Need the old IQ bug. Yeah, well, before being thrown out. Nice and yeah, I will not connect. Expecting maybe somebody up in the printer room wasn't really the case. As that one is, uh, leave the buck there. A mini on his own in the circle stairs. And Psycho's just going to set up in the cubby here. There's. Definitely the potential to break open the hatch and allow him to drop down, but you know, Vitz so far is just still clearing up the top floor as our devil just have really no clue where NAP are, and very smartly they will clear out the, the top floor. Yeah, it's it's not too bad of time management here because they they have in cleared it out pretty much in a minute and a half, and the C4 missing pretty much gave a clue where Psycho was actually playing at. Unfortunately, they're not executing on it just yet because things, again, have kind of yeah. slowed down. There you go. Breaching charges in hand, and Vitz will go in. He's oh, unsure. No. Oh, no. Like, there, there you go. He gets go. the kill. There we yes. go. So close. Is somebody going to open up that hatch for him? He's just going to fight to the death, and will they push him? Yes, they will, and Velvet will win it all. Up. But he's going to have to use his utility on the castle barricade. Unfortunately, nobody from the NIP squad is able to open up the hatch and allow... That uh, Valkyrie to drop, even though the nitro cell I believe was already used. No, yeah, it was already used on the on the hallway upstairs. And one player downed on the floor as they'll go for the pickup. That was uh, mute, and the smoke actually still set up in the bathrooms. Pretty aggressive position to be in, but with shotgun in hand, your chances of survival and actually taking someone with you down to the graves pretty darn high. Yeah. Ooh, some shock damage coming out as well, it sounded like, from the Maestro Evil Eye. He's, he's not happy with it. You have two grenades. There, he's going to take it out. So still little time left. He spots one. He gets the kill in the buck. Wog, well done. He can use the ledge here to vault down, but Velvet will try to protect his Thermite. Abra will go for the plant. It's now a 4v2. We'll commence. Velvet taking a ton of damage as well as Abra here with his Ash, or the... Uh, uh, there we go, they finish him off. Pino will get the kill. Still one player upstairs. Velvet on his own, and 
Kamikaze is ready. Damage done, and Pino will be the one to finish him off. The Fuser is going to get destroyed. And an IP, defenders. they grab round number six to Bomb tie things up. Failed. Defenders win. Yeah, the inability to take Wag out of the bathroom there is really what's supposed to be. Also, the initial kill on the Zofia slowed down their ability to take the rest of the map. But again, I got to commend them for at least taking top floor control and forcing Psycho down. Just they couldn't really take that middle floor because of that. They had a nice plant because so many people were playing away but just didn't have enough manpower left to follow it up. It was uh, definitely a tough position to be in as it side switch around here. And we'll see Garage being the starting site for Red Devils. Finca also potentially coming out here from Ninjas and Pajamas. Yep, they're going to six pick to the Zofia from the Ash. Mm. Interesting. The doc being put in play here. Of course, we've you know switched sides. Nope, he's going to change his mind to the Blackbeard. Okay. Well, it makes sense you have the Finca, right? Just faster ADS. Yep, Defenders that is definitely helpful. Being defused by attackers. We'll see. I mean, I think the big recoil boost Bomb from Vink is mostly attackers. for your own gun on the, uh, the LMG. Because uh, a lot of the other ones don't care about the recoil change, but faster ADS is certainly helpful. Especially if you were running an Ash, so it is it is weird you're going to not have the Ash with that. But we'll see how they do on that. He also bring it, well, bring in a bulletproof camera. He's going to set up right there to watch Yellow Stairs door. Which is a nice position for it, because it is very risky for them to try and make a move on that to take it out. And now that they don't have the Ash, actually, it's going to be very Ten difficult for them to take out without using a grenade. Because you definitely don't want to just run up to the side of it and smack it unless you can get control of the uh, a lot of those yellow stairs. It's not going to be easy. Midi, though, getting some cameras up so they have some idea how that metal floor is being taken. But we'll see how aggressive this push is going to be and whether or not they take a lot of map control quickly. And starting with admin or the middle floor. All right, Psycho in on the Blackbeard. He's going to go, uh, it makes a lot of sense that he goes and checks um, the console chamber first. And interestingly enough, Wog is running the spear instead of the usual uh, yeah. LMG that we see, which combos fairly well with Finca. Yep. So I know the spear has no recoil. It's basically an even, it's, it's like a better C70 with a bit less uh, rate of fire. They're basically copies of one another, if you will. But I guess it's all up to personal preference. Make it even better. The Randall Surge, the frag grenades that are on board. As Finca has a pretty darn good kit and fairly underrated, I have to say. Yeah, definitely something that uh, adding the grenades certainly helped. It's a big, pretty big deal in this game right now. So few operators have grenades on attack. Yeah, though th there is the discussion as well of, you know, was it really worth it to lose the, uh, how do you say, the, the timer on her, on her ability? You know, only down to 10 seconds. It's very like Vigil, where it just makes it more of a skill-based thing. Yeah, you have to really time it together with your squad instead of, you know... Uh, just constant boosting through the round? Yes. <laughs> That's basically as, as best as I put it. <laughs> well, these Mute Jammers, not really stopping the drones, but Bolt's Wills, he stood on top of the black car there. This is uh, definitely... They're all setting up for a push here. But the slow coming here is Wag actually just kind of holding an angle instead. Waiting for the rest of his teammates to get in position. Also gives a chance, though, for Jackal to uh, do his work. But nope, mute jam. Mute jammers on the side. Oh, there no. we go. They got rid of it. E That's a bit of a spectator thing where you couldn't really see. Yeah, no sparkles. Think. Yeah. So no problems with ADS here. Psycho is just already peeking around the corner. Battery will get shot down. The Maestro has moved away from the black car. And allow the... Thermata Julia to open up the second wall, and he's just going to play from the back. Wog is watching for enemy rotations from the service stairs. So, so far, so smartly done by the ninjas. We'll get a brow here. Well done by Pino. And that's 1C4 taken out of play. Two still available for Red Devils alongside the two ACOX. Well, as I say that, one Nitro Assault maximum available. Doc being in play for the Bulletproof Camera. But you see he's just still watching the flank itself. And Midi here, if he walks on up, this should be an easy kill for Wog. And there you go. 3v5, and he just sits in the back, drops down into the servers, and now has a potential flank on Velvet. Wog will get one on Vitz as VNX takes a ton of damage, unable to reply to the diffuser being set down. And Psycho will take down VNX. The Doc on his own as he'll try to well, at least put Red Devils on artificial breathing here because... It's a bit of a complicated position for him to be in, and no damage at all. Flawless to round. That was as flawless as it gets. Wow. And they were all boosted up a good majority of that time, too, as uh, he just kept triggering it for them to make sure that they could stay on top of that round, and it 
it paid off. It was a very, very good round. Just uh, catching a lot of the defenders in the right place at the wrong time. Yeah. Especially uh, Wag catching oh, yes. Midi on the rotate up. Wag's, Wag's position is just fantastic. We're like, you know what? They're not going to play upstairs. So the only way for them to rotate yep. is those stairs. Is those stairs. And you know what I'm going to do the whole round? I'm going to copy uh, Vitality basically back in the day and just watch that angle for the entirety of the game. Yeah, I mean there is three stairwells to go up, but one of them, yellow stairs, super risky. Spiral also pretty exposing once you go through kind of the middle lobby area. So yeah, that is definitely a likely position for them to go. Good catch on that. But they will be going up to try and defend the top floor now. See if they can do so equally well. Wag going to be bringing the Finca again. See if it'll work as well this round. Yeah, I'm... I'm not really too surprised that NIP switched off the Blackbeard, but he would still be a great operator to use in this situation. Uh, interestingly enough, and I mentioned this in the first match of the day, no Capital in play. Yeah. An operator that we've seen a ton of in other regions, especially on maps like Border. He's from this region, so... I don't think that's how it works. Are you sure? I don't know. Polish teams like Pac, they only play Zofia and Ella. That's or recruit. No, that's the uh, that's the uh, thing I always wonder is whether or not we'll get updates to the recruits at some point to have any kind of mirroring of DLC ops because uh, so far we don't really have that. Yeah, good point. Recruits are an international organization. Well, that's that's my point though. Is they're only mirroring the original ones for now. I don't know. I don't know if that's something they'll change in the future. I just uh, I would find that interesting as long as yeah. we don't make them overpowered. I think I think we'll have to ask Saw Siege uh, to see if. You know, he can cook up a few of those um, interesting recruit I images and drawings that he makes. And they're very, very high quality, I have to say. With the tongue out. <laughs> they're, so, they're so cute. Anyways, VNX checking things out here as there's a bit of a shrubbery uh, next to the Knights Hussein. -y. A bomb has been located. That kind of blocks his line of sight on the camera. But in the meantime, Wog again. So I'm upstairs and still using the Spirit 308, which does a ton of damage, has no recoil practically. It's still an odd choice compared to the LMG, but we saw how the Adrenal Surge has been used. It's not really there to allow you to control the LMG and use it to a better, um, to better success. It's more as it's a bonus for my team instead of just for myself. Yeah, and we saw the way he was using it. He was obviously getting call-outs by his team when to use it because he wasn't using it strictly for himself. And it makes sense. What a team player. What a team player. And really, Finca as an operator in terms of design is very much built around the team play. Yeah, sure, you have frag grenades, but you know the frag grenades are there as a bonus for your team. You can allow, it allows you to bait people defeated. into certain positions as well where you can shut them down because you know what? They're grenaded and they have to walk away from that grenade indicator. In the meantime, Velvet contesting by the big desk. Long desk, taking down the, uh, well, one of the uh, cameras there. Oof, midi, there you go. Two shots rattling out for the Alda. And they'll find and connect with the face of Psycho. A lot of Sophia's not living very long, it seems like, uh, today. Unfortunate there for Polish Shop. And Mobar Dryer finally gets shot down here, just taken down by Kamikaze. And, uh, midi definitely uh, proving to be a thorn in the literal side of NIP. Has been boosted back up to 100 health by Velvet. As Velvet will spray in, smokes have already been thrown in. There's no information that uh, the defenders can play off of, because, well, there's no Maestro camera right on a reinforced wall, and he dives right out. Wog is still alive thanks to his boost, but Julia's at full health. They're going to try to stick the diffuser. Shoot right at him, man. Midi will fall out, and no, the defense will find it. All they needed were those seven seconds in the instant they had it. Guys, jump out the window. I'll take care of this one. Yeah, well played on his part. In terms of, uh, yeah, he wasn't able to score the kill on the way out, but everyone just evacuating at that moment, thinking, oh, we got the plant down, we're fine. Just did not anticipate him sticking that fast. Jump out wasn't the greatest, but it was, like you said, exactly what they needed time-wise. And this unfortunate part of just not having enough coverage. You really needed someone already on the repel before mm -hmm. you went and got the plant down, but too many other players left around and... Nicely played with Red Devils. This is again looking like a potential tie. Just creeping right back to it. 4-4 right now. So close. We're going to see it Garage again. No one, again, playing anything but Garage and Console so far this matchup. Attackers need to locate. Yeah, it seems like Lobby is not really a comfortable site for both teams. And 
on top of that, also the surfer. Yeah. It's, it's not been a favorite for many teams, but I think uh, EU especially has kind of embraced it, you know? Yeah. But North America, it's, you'll see it here and there. That time, no, not happening. Not happening. We'll see, though. That, that could change. They could save it for a little bit of surprise treat. I could see a team like Red Devils having that in their back pocket, potentially, being some more of the newcomers. Julio and Psycho definitely showing up for their team. A bit more of a mixed bag on Red Devils, although VNX and Velvet, the two Vs, lead for victory as they uh, managed to pull up quite a few kills for the team. Oh. What? V for victory. Yeah. I mean, that's... It's not exactly, but it's trademarked their, by them. It's kind of a okay, but it's thing. their thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I apologize to the team that's not in Pro League anymore. <laughs> oh, yikes. Anyways, uh, we'll see. That that could change. They're playing pretty well now. All right. Wag doing his team thing here, not over aggressing inside, just helping set up with some droning, along with Julio, the two support operators. Oh, but e. a nice trade there between Velvet and Psycho. We're seeing a lot of trades these days. A lot of teams just getting so good at aim that they're just killing each other. <laughs> nice shot coming up. It's a pretty equal trade app. Yeah, I, I, hope, I hope he gives him the nice shot the other way around as well. Come on now. Thank you. There's not you. <laughs> Your shot was as great as mine, even though we traded. Was it like Skies? He's just saying a nice shot for himself. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot, Skies. Thank you, Skies. <laughs> yeah. He does do that. It's pretty funny. Oh, man. Well, Drone is going to get spotted here. Uh, Wog's still trying to go through it. And Wog is setting up for the same position as before. Denter through Visa and then, or Passport Control, and just sit down there and watch for any rotation through the surface yep. stairs. It's a pretty good spot. And it did net him a free kill in the previous round. And later in the round, it would allow him to get fairly deep into enemy lines. Yeah. I got to imagine they're going to be better prepared for it this time, though. And not rotate up through it without at least having some idea if they're playing up there. But they did lose. Both teams lost uh, a man early on. So this last minute 15 is going to be down to who could start to actually get set up or get enough intel to set up. So this, is he going to go for a C4 throw? It's definitely considering it. Now, there's only one uh, that's already been used by the Bandit. That'll be, well, two more C4s and Nitro Cells available for Red Devils. Now, Vitz watching out through the hatch. C4 thrown up. We'll do a tiny bit of damage to Pino, but not really enough to punish him. Wog taking down a camera that's been set up by Mitz in the past. So that's why you've seen Red Devils not really eager to rotate through the server stairs. The server stairs, Pino will find the kill on a browse, continues to demolish the floorboard. The remodeling costs are going to be up the roof. Yeah, absolutely. Only the uh, surviving team has to pay them, though. Yeah, that's how it works. Well, Midi in the back. Vitz will take damage, and Kamikaze cleans him up through the hatch, forcing Midi, actually, into a pretty precarious position here. Uh, he has to go in. He has to support the maestros. The wall's are already open. NIP can just go in and plant. There's no real thing that can deny him. Yeah, you can do damage. You can tickle the Thermite, but it's not going to be enough to win you the whole round. In the meantime, Kamikaze gets the second. Mitty tried to rotate in. A play from the top floor through a spiral. You know, VNX is on his own, and you got to save the op in this situation. And Julio. Wow, that's a... Okay, I thought he was outside, but actually pushed up fairly close. Fires in next to the bomb, and he'll find it. NIP now on five rounds on the board. We head into round number 10 and possible for, for Red Devils here to tie it back up. Yeah, definitely the case. I thought they did a pretty good job that last round of delaying as long as they possibly could. And uh, you saw the attack somewhat stall out, but they just had the man advantage and were able to quickly turn that around. The inability, of course, for the Maestro Evil Eye to kill the Thermite while he's planting is, is a big problem there because his position was he wasn't able to follow that up with any shots because the white van and the uh, car were going to be potentially in his way either way. So not the greatest position to be in. But they're going to try Garage again. Still no other bomb sites in player. Psycho can switch in the Zofia in for the Ash. Just, it's always weird yeah, just, just because the Ash has just been spot. so successful for more aggressive attacks. But to be fair, they did win that last attack regardless. Part of that, someone due to that missed C4 not really Attackers doing what they were the hoping. Of a bomb. The one he threw up the, through the floor in the bathroom. Hatch it has been getting open fairly well. I gotta imagine they might consider 
playing a bit more aggressive in bathrooms to stop that hatch from getting open, but at the same time, with the hatch reinforced, it also means you have no escape route. So you are setting yourself up somewhat of a death trap, but if you can hold it for a long period of time, it can definitely pay off. It's just a question of whether or not you're sacrificing a uh, team member who is vital. They're also going to potentially stop ro or any kind of rush attempt here by closing this hatch, something you've mentioned before, the difficulty of leaving that hatch open and how much that can bite you. Yeah. I've seen that happen mostly on that server attack, uh, where, you know, hey, people just kind of drop to the hatch. Yep. I think that was uh, a mistake when Mocket was playing. That wasn't theirs for once. Ooh. Again, Zofia's not living very long. Maybe you should just go with Ash. Maybe a little bit faster. Maybe dodge those bullets Matrix style. That's exactly how Ash works. Well, yeah, that's that's why the hitbox doesn't, that's, doesn't work, right? That's, that's such, such an old meme. It's like, ha, you know, German man, no ACOG. Ha, ha. Lord, ha, ha. <laughs> All right. All right, fair enough. The evolution of a siege. I mean, it's still true, but in the sense of, like, trying to hit that hitbox, not easy. Yeah, but then again, I watched you playing, and especially at the major. Hey, I'm talking about everyone else <laughs> missing Ash. It's pretty All much right. a given I would miss. <laughs> well, Kamikaze's trying to definitely not miss any shots in this uh, round. As uh, he falls back down on the Jackal and can't really find anyone to track. Well, in the meantime, still set up on the opposite end of the map, and we'll try to pretty much play the same thing. It's Red Devils we'll go back to Garage, and it seems like both teams are fairly comfortable playing console, console and uh, Garage, just literally nothing else. Well, they have man advantage right now, Ooh. so they've just got to play very smart with time. It's unfortunate to lose that camera, but you kind of know where he's at at this point, that he's going to be playing, and there's just a question of whether or not the timing will work for Mitty. Fortunately, he oh. has bailed out, so... Oh, he's going to come back, though. Mitty just needs to be smart about this. So the pillars is into it. No. Oh, I don't know if he saw Mitty is that either, a camera? though. That's a camera that's already been preset. Yeah. You see it right there in the shrubbery. So mm -hmm. Mitty's going to have to fall back as Wog just playing a game of cat and mouse. Still here. delayed him, though. And now he's going to rotate around again. The cat and the mouse fighting each other yet again. The timing, though, is oh. so far off. Don't do this. Yeah, this is Tress here. He's got to be getting flanked from behind at this rate. Now the buck doing the work in the back is. Yeah, he'll get taken down by Piano. Midi finally shut down. A lot of damage done to Julio here, but will it be enough for Red Devils to take the round and tie it 5-5? You see the Maestro camera, two of them actually, that are still alive, and giving information back. No clear on the top floor as Velvet still in, still watching. Literally the only entrance into Piano. <laughs> Definitely a big help from the Adrenal Surge there, but Vitz is going to go down. Three versus two. He's going to try and use that last or second to last burst. Yeah, still can come in and shut down. You see, he ADSs like a real champ. Yeah. Basically, Bolo on literal steroids. Julio will find one kill on a bro, but no, VNX is still all on his own on the other side. Side of the office, Velvet from the top floor drops the hatch and faces opponents by the bathroom hatch. To the top floor, look out below, and then the next thing you know, you'll be on the floor. What you going to do with you on your back? from a mean body slam. Oh yeah, okay. That's another. <laughs> That's basically 2005. Now who's talking about old memes? <laughs> finally, Lobby. Here we go. They're willing to pull it out now that they've uh, finally won Garage. They are satisfied they've won both the other bomb sites. Not in a row, mind you, but they've won them both. They're like, okay, we can move on now. In peace. So. Requiescat in pace. Mm-hmm what he said. Yep. Mitty going to bring out the uh, sneaky cap can, though. Should be interesting to see how this goes. It Walk didn't really work out today when we saw cap can, right? No, but it it, it is uh, one of those Thank things where a lot of times when it is working out, we can't always tell. Yeah, because we can't, uh, we don't have a way to properly calculate Lob the amount of damage that's been going on. Finally, we'll see lobby. So, well, this that's, is, uh, you know, it's two surprises at once. We'll bring it to lobby and the sneaky cap can. And what's the change on NIP side? They bring a Twitch. Yeah. Oddly enough, the good, perfect good timing. Yeah. Oh, I'll go ahead and find those little EDDs and just shock them out. Of course, that assumes they're placed early enough for him to do that. Might be uh, sometimes pocket uh, cap can can be pretty effective at catching and recontrolling areas they thought they've cleared and catch them. Like let's say they get a diffuse down and they go to evacuate to hold it, they can definitely be caught by those as well. So. 
Definitely gonna have the drone Attackers effectively make sure to stop future. that though. Attackers are heading out to defuse Could get greedy with the jackal, ping even, and walk right into one, focused on the ping. Yeah, this is something we've seen in uh, quite a few teams playing on consulate. It was basically just, hey, we're gonna peek you early on, yep. and either an echo or doc will do the work. In this case, obviously, the echo is not available, so you're not gonna attacker. see any of that in play. Valve just still watching, and oh, here he time. comes. Oh, they know that that window is open, so they're just gonna watch him. <laughs> no damage done. Velvet might just have to fall back, and there you go. Such Down the yellow stairs, you go. Worth a try, though. He knows exactly what he's just going to continue to uh, play games with them at this point. That just that just slowed them down, though. I mean, it is absolutely worth it. What did it cost him? A few bullets. Totally worth it. Somehow, Vitz is taking a tiny bit of damage, though. Hmm. Yeah, very true. All the cap cans are set up. All five EDDs somewhere around the map, mysteriously. We'll see if we if we see any damage uh, just magically show up on one of the uh, attackers. We can assume that that's probably the cause. Yeah, again, it's 60 damage to three speeds, which you know, in the case of the attackers, there's quite a few of them. Well, they actually are bringing the ash this time too. So. Yep. Psycho, pretty nutty ash though. It's a pretty good player in general. Yeah. A specialist. Almost as good as Meepy's T Hunt Ash. Well, oh no! A bro, no, he'll get shot from. A billion angles there, and Psycho finally take down a bro. So it's a good start here for NIP. Is the games today are <laughs> very back and forth, to at least yeah. really going the distance. So losing the Legion early on definitely does not help the defense here of Red Devils, as Velvet will still peel off and try to recover their opponents in longer angles, where the ACOG can be utilized to its maximum potential. Yeah, this is definitely going to be an important round, though, because first to six makes a big difference in, in locking yourself into a, a maximum or minimum tie. Not, not minimum. Ooh, Julio. Nicely done. It was a good switch over to the Twitch, then. Now, definitely with the FAMAS helping now, there is, you know, you've said a few times where, you know, you start spraying, and by the time you're done with your third bullet, it already hits the head, and it's really all you needed in the... Uh, the situation at Pino on half health in the meantime, so I assume he's walked into a captain trap. Very possible. More fire down to Psycho, but he'll turn around and find the kill on VNX. Midi low on health. This is a nice shot there. Fits with the second one on a kamikaze shotgun in hand. He'll try to clear them out, and that's one down on the floor. Not enough, though, to clear the pocket pistol. The pretty boy's pocket pistol there for Wog. The shot one. Midi, one bullet away from death with the PMM, but he can stop it all right here. Diffuser is going to get set, and Julio is not in position just yet. He'll spray into the back, but somehow Wog is still alive. He needs to hit it. No Nitro Cell available, and he'll find the kill. No, Wog, what are you doing? Operator hey, I should plant in a spot that's more exposed. The piano wasn't uh, Oh, you, do, you can kill me from there. Let me find a better spot. By Here, you. can I just come in the bathroom, and we'll just sit together and type on this little computer? Yeah, we'll shower together. Save some water. There you go. Conser conservation is the name of the game. Consulate? Well... Back up to console, so uh, they finally bring in a different bomb site, and guess what? They win it. So Red Devils with the guaranteed minimum one point against the uh, heavyweights at the moment of NIP. It's pretty good, pretty good for being a team that you know was coming in out of Challenge League. But to be fair, I I'm definitely not underestimating them oh, at this no. point. They're a very strong team. Yeah, even if they're sitting at the seventh spot, um, Attackers need to they can really inflict bomb. some big pain. We well, saw how much they punched onto a uh, phase as well. Mm -hmm. So, though I want to say that game on bank was <laughs> wasn't pretty. Yeah, but still, it was a fairly interesting matchup. And I highly recommend people to go and rewatch them later, as I know. Or else. Yeah, or else. There's barely enough time for you to survive currently with the uh, super weeks and the super year, but you know. Why not? Why not? Things again. Yep. All right. Now, NIP, of course, are in the second spot in the standings of Latin America. Only topped by Immortals at 11 points, as Immortals as well have tied today. So, NIP tying will put them in a, guess what, tie with the Immortals on the top side. And this allows Team Liquid, if they gain a victory today versus Pain Gaming, our third matchup of the day, to soar ahead in the standings and get an extra point above Immortals and the Ninjas. All right, well, could have Thai City today, though. You never know. Certainly looking like a possible tie here. Whether or not Red Devils yep. can hold this. Uh, however, to be fair, they did successfully defend it the one time they played it previously. 
You know what they say, a night in Bangkok makes a hard man humble. Cause Ty has been located. All right. <laughs> Don't even recognize that one. It's a great song. I'm sure it is. <laughs> this is from your era. They, they had music back then? <laughs> On stones. Yeah. Velvet. So in the long desk, we've seen this angle being very powerful, denying anybody taking control of the bathroom or also the top side of the yellow stairs. See the maestro camera as well to give info and anybody walking in from the hallway. Reloading. Meantime, NIP kind of taking their sweet time, drawing things out and getting information on the location of the Red Devils as it seems like the yellow stairs are vacant. Yeah, there needs to be some ping coming out from the Jackal to really kind of start to push them back to site so they can get it ready for an execute. But last time, the reason they failed that execute, of course, was they jumped out the window, didn't have the coverage, and Red Devils were able to defuse it. So they were able to get the plant down last time, just not enough follow-up. And so far, a minute and a half, no one has even fired at each other yet, except for to say that, of course, there goes Pino. Unfortunately, Pino will go down. A quick refract, very swift here for Kamikaze, taking down the smoke, an equally important operator on the defense of Red Devils. Yep. And that's the thing, you take control of the yellow stairs. Brown, in the meantime, will gather information and relay it back to his teammates. His Velvet is ready to engage, Q and e ing around that long desk. Committee looking down. <laughs> it's a pretty pretty long throw there. Skeet you Two oh, drones no. being lost, and a psycho drops in. Finds the kill on a brow. That's all that they needed. The C4 has been taken off the board. Velvet looking for a fight, but Julio will be the one to find it. VNX to go down, and now two ACOGs left. The only two available for a Devils will make that only one. The Doc on his own. Do they know where he is? Yes, they do, and now they confirm it. Julio and Kamikaze having taken a lot of damage previously in their skirmishes. Will be fairly low on health, but Velvet will get dropped. And no time for the Doc to rescue himself. It's Tacit as Kamikaze finishes things off. And NIP and Red Devils go for the 6-6. Six, six. El numero del beast. Uh, definitely looking like these teams starting to feel a little bit more evenly matched up today. Yeah, it's it's odd. So there you go. 6-6 six, six for game one. 6-6 six, six for game two. Two more to go. Two more to go. Liquid versus Pain, Phaser, Black Dragons. And, you know, you mentioned Red Devils were punching about their weight. 